Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today for another build dark and darker video. Today is going to be the Ranger. And this is a matter of if you can't bait him, join him. Fighter just does not feel good, especially with the uh, the weapon damage nerfs on the Falchion and the Arming Swords. The Sprint nerf really did a, a number on Slayer Fighter as well. The best way to play Fighter right now is probably PDR and MDR, and I kind of don't really feel like playing to that playstyle, so I might as well just try Ranger. If you guys saw my last video, I did some sort of Ranger build, but on a Fighter. Let's do it on a Ranger this time. As you can see, I'm level 16 right now, so I'm able to have all the perks enabled. When I made the video, I started at level 1. So you're going to be seeing me with just one perk, but I'll show you what kind of perks I would put on. All these lobbies will be in normals because I couldn't play High Roller until level 20. But what's interesting is the normal lobbies are way more lit and packed with geared players than the HR lobbies. It seems like the HR lobbies, people are actually in there stock armored. So it seems like normals is kind of the way to go right now. I'm sure I'll get a couple of angry comments from people yelling at me for killing Timmy's. I got to say it was a really good target practice. I think quick shot is really good combining with a uh, forceful shot. I think both of these are very good. If somebody gets too close to you, you enable forceful shot and then you quick shot them to death. But you could also do back step and uh, quick shot or you can do back step and forceful shot. I mean, if I'm starting off at level one, the first one that I would pick, I mean, it's personal preference, but I chose the ranged weapon mastery, 5% uh, physical damage bonus because I had a ranger already. You start off with nine strength. You're pretty damn low. You want the ranged attacks to really count. So I'm going to add that 5%. You get to level five, I'd use nimble hands when using a uh, bow, increase your draw speed by 15%. You'll notice a significant difference, especially if you're using like a survival bow. At level 10, I would use chase. Detect recent enemy footsteps and can hear footstep sounds from farther away. Really good if you're into PvP like me. You can hear where everybody is. You can see where everybody is. And I think even for rogues, when they're in Viz, you can actually find rogues that are, you know, walking around. This is almost necessary as well, especially because as a ranger, rogues are your hard counter. And Viz cut through a rogue, catches you, you're done. But I think chase is really good. And you got to play like a ranger. You really got to just be careful in smaller rooms where rogues could be. And lastly, I'm going to do cripple shot. Uh, when you hit their legs, reduce their movement speed bonus by 40% for one second. This is really good if you're stacking a bunch of move speed on a ranger because you're hitting them in the legs because imagine you have 105 108 percent move speed 325 move speed 40 percent of their move speed is lower you can just keep the distance away from you know your target you can just keep running you gain such an advantage in terms of distance you hit them in the leg once and you can just back up with so much ms and you're already further away from them so i'm not going to be purchasing any of the gear on this character because i don't have any gold so i'm going to be purchasing it on my fighter and then transferring it over i'm going to be transferring it right over to my ranger so we have 3,000 gold right here and I'm actually gonna pull more gold here because I'm, I'm gonna try to build a pretty good kit here. The first thing I wanna start off with is the Lightfoot Boots. As a matter of fact, I actually have some in my inventory right here. I highly recommend getting five additional move speed rares. If you can afford Epic, do so, but Epics are, you know, significantly more expensive. And normally for these Lightfoot Boots, I think you can get them for around 250, maybe 300 gold. Not too bad. Now next will be the loose trousers, and we're going to be doing physical power with them, at least three physical power. Hopefully try to aim for a rare so that you can get most agility possible. On Ranger, your strength is very low, so you got to make up for some of that power. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this, 355, three fifth power. And up next, I'm going to be doing the adventurer tunic with agility and strength, if they have it. Let's go ahead and see. I think this is probably the best bet right now. I think we'll go ahead and purchase this one, 475. Pretty pricey for that chest piece, but uh, Agi is really good. In my video, I use a leather cap, but I'm realizing that you can actually get three, maybe even five Agi on a Ranger Hood. Yeah, you can. You can get five agility on a Ranger Hood, which is pretty sick. I think I'll go ahead and get something like this. 188, two power, one max HP, and you also got that four agility. Now for the gloves, we're going to be doing riveted gloves with true damage. And you can get one Agi and one true, but because we have so much Agi on the headpiece, I think I'm going to try to go for pure power riveted gloves with true damage. So true damage, I'm probably just going to do this because I don't think I want to pay 700. 588 is fine with me. All right, for the cloak, I'm going to be doing a tattered cloak just to increase that strength even more. So our damage will count three strength, one true physical damage. Uh, if you can't afford that, go for the rare. You can get one for 230 gold. So something like this. And as for the rings, we go ahead and use a true physical damage, Ring of Quickness. I'm going to be using a Fox Pendant with uh, three physical power and one true. Pendants and rings are going to be your most expensive buys, that's for sure. Use what you can get, though. Like, if you have to buy something just like this, Frost Amulet, two true physical damage, just buy something nice and cheap. So do what you can do. I would say rely more on your skill set in-game than the kind of gear that you have. But if you can afford good gear, the good gear plus the skill set, you're kind of crazy. I also have this uh, this one Agi, but I think I'm going to opt for more Agi. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a Agility Ring. We've got Quickness with uh, true physical damage. I'm going to do a rare. 
Four fifty one. If I'll pay four fifty one, how much is the the epics are six ninety nine? You just go on the budget here. Get something that can actually help you out though. Magical interaction speed or magical damage reduction. I'm gonna go for that magical interaction speed, six percent. Okay, now we're going to want to get ourselves a really good bow. So let's go ahead and find a survival bow. I'm going to be using survival bow. Uh, you can use whichever bow you like, but I found that the survival bow was pretty insane, you know, for a build like this. High, insane high move speed with that surf bow is insane. I'm going to spend heavy on the bow because your bow is your bread and butter pretty much. I mean, something like this. This is really good. 26 plus 2 weapon damage, 5 max HP, and 2 fist power. You know, that could that can be really good. Even this too. Actually, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this one. Doesn't matter what kind of army sword. I'm just going to buy the cheapest one. So something like this. Already been sold. Pretty good. All right. Now let's hop on the Ranger. All right. Here it is. All right. So let's go ahead and check this out. We have 115 HP. 108.8% move speed. 8% action speed. We have 10% physical power bonus plus 5 because of the uh, the ranged weapon mastery plus another 3. So this is going to be crazy. All right, we are ready to go. But we'll see you guys in the dungeon. You guys see our damage here. 40 on the chest shot and you got 61 on the head shot. Not bad. Pretty insane, dude. That's crazy. All right, 122 HP with weapons out, 98 with weapons out, 108.2 without weapons, and power bonus is 15. And if you draw your weapon, 20%. It goes up to 20% because of our 5% physical damage bonus. You notice it's still 15% uh, without it. You have to draw your weapon. So, let's get into some PvP. I actually got spawn rushed, holy hell. That's crazy. I'm just gonna run directly into uh into a fight. Cool thing about having all this agi too is your interaction speed is insane. He's open things super quickly. decent telling you guys if you can't beat him join him i don't really feel like suffering as fighters are just not that good right now feels pretty good to play ranger not gonna lie do downstairs as well the rogues are the hardest counter for rangers uh so if you catch them when they're not in Viz, you're good to go. If not, you're kind of screwed. It's just the way that the uh, the cookie crumbles, you know? My fear of spellcasters has diminished significantly. Oh, I'm lagging. I can't even put my weapons away. Hopefully this trap saves me. I can't do anything. Oh, we're back. Oh man, nice parry. This guy had like 50 PDR or 60 PDR or something like that. He's got like a fine curus. That was some very sus lag right there. That yeah, was pretty juiced. Holy hell. Got a good old cleric. Keep missing. I got a cripple shot. I'll slow him down. Get to heal up a bit. I'm gonna take like six shots total. I think we got him. He 
RPG. Got a barbarian here. With my MS, he can never catch me. It's impossible. That barbarian did a little dance. We're gonna play to the traps. We got two players out here. Got a rogue and a freaking barb. Rogue is the problem, not the barb. Let me try to get rid of that rogue first. So it's really important to have these, uh... The footstep thing enabled. Whatever the perk's called. In case he goes invisible, you can see where he's walking. Oh, he's done. Barb stole my kill! Alright, this is the advantage of having 108 move speed. You will never get caught. No matter what. Look at this distance. This is like impossible for him to catch me. If I was playing fighter, I can't face to face fight him anyway. That's just the nature of a barbarian. Oh, he feels it. He is in pain. And he's gone. But the advantage is, with 108, we can catch him. Lovely multi-shot. I think we only hit him once there. Oh, he's done. It's over. GG! RIP, brother. Not bad. Got a buff guy over here. Full plate. I think we got cripple shot. We'll use it when he uh, holds up his shield. Very soon he's gonna start to realize uh, that this fight is unwinnable for him. Hey, the bombs are not helping at all, that's for damn sure. Wasted those. Oh, he went invis. You can just see those cripple shots really, really push him back. In terms of distance. Bro got unlucky. We got a cleric over here. It's the doorway theory. I'm gonna ruin this guy's time. The rogues need to learn the hard way. He'll be back. He'll put on cutthroat and viz. He'll get me back. It's bound to happen. I will die to a rogue. It's a headshot. He's done. Decent. Got another ranger. This guy's got a longbow. Survival bow or longbow? I say survival bow. Even though that does hurt. Makes survival bow still better. It is. Indeed. The man sung himself to death. Advantage of forceful shot. He's pretty much done for. Got a cleric over here. Got us there. 
you just see it's impossible for melee classes to, to counter a build like this. I would say the only class that can win is probably a rogue, invis, hide rogue. Ah, oh, damn it, Tommy. Cutthroat for you. Couldn't force those shot. GG's. But yeah, you can see the footsteps in advance. You gotta be quick, though. This is the portion of the video where we sell everything that we have earned from the game. Definitely, if you're playing normals, you're gonna get a lot less loot, that's for sure. But we still got some pretty decent stuff here. Let's start with uh, this neck of peace right here. This additional physical damage. If you had two power on it, it goes for 700 gold. We will list this for 499. See how much these legendary longswords go for. 800 gold, just right off the bat. Pretty cool. I think I'll go 699. Check out this fine Curus with uh, agility and dexterity. Goes for about 580 gold. Go 399. Oh, this armament, same thing. One agility and two dexterity. Round 1,000 gold. Kind of hard to believe these guys have been going for a couple days, though, so I don't know if I want to sell this for that much. I'll go 499. Cut it in half. Two dexterity and one true physical damage on the light gauntlets for around 799 gold. Oh, pretty cool. I think we'll go 499. Pretty cool pendant right here. Frost amulet. Three true physical damage. Seven AR. Go for around 440 gold. Pretty cool. What about 399? True physical damage, vigilant cloak. Let's check this out. 235. Where do you go? 199. Same with this one. And with true magical damage, let's see how much the Merc cloak on the true magic goes for. About 100 gold. Well, let's go ahead and sell 45 weapon damage crossbow. They go for around 150 gold. The one with max HP, though, around 180. I'll go 149. All right. One hour later, and most things sold. Maybe about two hours later, actually. A uh, pretty good return, I would say. The 3,000 goes pretty decent. I could just buy, like, another one of those kits. Maybe at a smaller scale, though. Think I'm a Ranger main now. Playing Fighter has been quite difficult lately, and the playstyle that I like to play as Slayer Fighter, it's almost not even worth it, because everybody you're fighting... You know, they're gonna be stronger than you because they have PDR, PDR Cleric, Wizard and Warlock. You're just at a disadvantage. You gotta use your bow and you're dealing 10% less damage with your bow. It just seems like the better option to just play high move speed Ranger until uh, they buff weapon damage again or they buff sprint. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know Ranger's sort of like hated, but what class isn't hated? I mean, everybody hates rogues. Well, everybody hates warlocks. But wait a minute, everybody hates wizards. Everybody hates every class, you know? So just play what you're good with. Play what you have fun with. That's the most important part. And we will see you guys in the next video or the next stream. Thanks for watching.